Welcome into the news portion of DSI. I'm Jordan Kudish. The Sussex Montessori School in Seaford got a special visit today to celebrate two different grants that the school is receiving. 47 ABC's Rob Flax explains the plans the school has to expand and how the grants will help make it happen. Uh, we are just honored and really privileged to have received this funding support. Leaders from the Sussex Montessori School Friday hosting U.S. Senator Tom Carper and officials from the USDA celebrating the school receiving $400,000 in grant funding. That will fund um, furniture and equipment for our brand new library. It will uh, fund some outdoor environments, some outdoor classrooms, pavilions. Uh, it'll bring us uh, lots of amazing, wonderful, beautiful Montessori materials and um, landscaping and um, other equipment that we need. Senator Carper says he's been supporting the project since its conception and was thrilled to see the school in action. Uh, county government, state government, and the federal government has stepped in big time to provide everything all in, maybe a, a million dollars or more to help get the school started and to get ready for the next step. Head of school Lisa Coldiron tells us expansion and new programming is on the agenda and having the support allows them to build those plans for the future and serve more students. We have students that have come from all over Sussex County, so largely from this western side of the county, but we have students that come from all over the county. We currently have over 400 students and next year we'll be adding the sixth grade and we will have between 465 and 470 students. You know, we have, we have a lot of children that we need to support. So this is just the beginning of a wonderful growing opportunity. In Seaford, Rob Flax, 47 ABC, WMDT. Lisa Coldiron tells us 47 ABC tells 47 ABC that there's already a waiting list for next year, but now is the time for parents in Sussex County to register and you can do that by visiting the Sussex Montessori website. Well, health care just got more accessible for those who are on probation. The Delaware Department of Corrections now taking bids from health care professionals to make it happen. It would offer offenders behavioral health, substance abuse assessments and counseling. Officials say that it balances community safety and rehabilitation. Now, we spoke with the DOC to learn how this will help the probationer get ahead. This is an opportunity for probation and parole and for the communities to connect folks with, again, their level of care. And this, in turn, helps them overcome certain obstacles in their lives that they're maybe dealing with. The selected provider will lead behavioral health and substance abuse assessments each year. This would help up to 4,000 Delawareans. The bid details can be found on Delaware.gov. And as a reminder, those bids are due by November 22nd. Well, it's no secret we are less than a week away from Thanksgiving, and that means many of you will be hitting the road to feast with family. AAA is predicting 1 million Marylanders will be on the road this year. And more than 90% of travelers will be driving to their destination despite the gas price trending upward. An official with AAA tells us just how much families will be paying at the pump. Maryland's gas price average today is trending at about $3.67 a gallon. That's 32 cents more than what we were paying this time last year. However, I should note it is a significant drop Historically, increased gas prices have kept drivers off the road, but that is not the case this time around. AAA says air travel increased by nearly 6%, and that with an increase of drivers on the road, it's important they make sure that their cars are road ready. Nationwide, AAA expects to rescue probably more than 400,000 motorists across the nation. Here in Maryland, that number is closer to about 7,000. So we really want travelers that are driving to their holiday destinations to make sure that their cars are road ready. Ali says that drivers should also keep in mind the Maryland move over law that was recently updated. So make sure if you see a driver pulled off on the road, you switch lanes. And if you want to see the full holiday forecast, travel forecast, visit cluballiance.aaa.com. And now we're going to switch things over to weather and toss it over to our chief meteorologist, Rich Wurdzik, for a look at that forecast. Rich. And uh, and Jordan, let's uh, we're going to talk about uh, what to expect here if you do plan on traveling here out of the area or just, uh, you know, to a different part of Delmarva as we get set for the holiday week. And a uh, little good news, the front end, at least getting close to Thanksgiving looks good 
after Thanksgiving. Yeah, it could be a bit dicey out there with our next storm system that I'm tracking. 47 ABC Skycam live look from Rehoboth Beach. Our Morse roofing and siding Skycam and taking a look at temperatures that uh, are running in the 30s in many spots, still in the 40s and others. Question about that. What's going on? Well, it depends on how much cloud cover you have over top of your specific location at this point. Um, the clouds that have come in throughout the evening now starting to thin out a bit in spots and where they have the temperature has dropped off with radiational cooling. Other places uh, holding steady in the 40s. You see Georgetown 35 41 though in Ocean City, low 40s and wallops even down to freezing in Melfa. Salisbury at 35. So uh, the comfort issue at home and your apartment has been a top priority here, obviously with the heat and you're going to be turning it up here again for our Saturday. It's Sunday will be the coldest afternoon and Sunday night slash Monday morning being the coldest morning that we have. And uh, you see where our temperatures will be Monday morning at 21 degrees. So the heat's cranked here through Monday morning. You'll be able to start backing off on that, not having to pay for as much comfort as we go into Tuesday with more seasonable temperatures in the area. It was a beautiful looking day. Just didn't feel that nice out there, but a nice shot here at a slaughter beach. This comes from meteorologist Ulysses Garcia, who is up in Sussex County along the shore earlier today with the Mobile Weather Center. A day where we reached the mid and upper 40s and that was it. The wind was Back and forth a little bit, driving that windshield down to around 40 or so. 48 was the official high out of the Salisbury Airport on the day we averaged 58. And you can see where we started the morning off in the 20s. There are going to be a few more mornings like that coming up. Satellite and radar. That just the high clouds I was talking about moving through. You see parts of Delmarva clearing out. That's where the colder temperatures are. And we should go more on the mostly clear sky here later tonight. Big time issues of lake effect snow nationally. This is a big story out of Buffalo. They moved the Bills game to Detroit because of this, measuring the snow already in feet. I believe in parts of western New York, they're expecting up to six feet of snow by the time this all winds down over the weekend. Unbelievable. It makes you appreciate the small snow events we have around here. All right, 8 o'clock tomorrow. Well, we're not talking any snow, don't worry, uh, at least for this forecast. Going sunny tomorrow after a start at 8 o'clock with some clouds left over, but it should be a decent looking day at that point. 25 to 30 tonight under a partly cloudy sky will keep it chilly and that's how our Saturday will end up much like today and yesterday. So uh, if you were outside for a bit, just know that that's exactly where we'll be again for tomorrow under a mostly sunny sky. Okay, Sunday talked about that being the coldest day you throw in the breeze. Wind chill values in the 30s, if not 20s. There's that cold start Monday morning and there's the warm up. Turkey Day looks pretty good in the mid 50s after a nice day in the Wednesday. So uh, you're going to be traveling. It should be looking OK, but expect showers by Friday. We've got more DSI on the other side of the break. Stay with us. We'll be right back.